Hello, everyone. I'm staunch doomsday prepper Dick Simmons. And I'm Dexter Griff. And the end is coming. We're all doomed. Doomed! Seriously, not now, but, you know, at some point. Thankfully, we here at Red vs. Blue have a few ways for you to prepare for several life-ending scenarios, besides our steadfast zombie plans, of course. Sadly, not all problems can be solved with a dead griff. To start, I've asked Lopez to join us as we discuss the impending AI takeover. Hola. As technology progresses and computers become more lifelike, it becomes more likely we'll see them gain sentience. And take over the world, enslaving all of humanity! Esta en mi lista de tareas. Before that happens, move to a small town with terrible internet access. The technology is bound to be decades behind, so use it as a weapon. Stand back! I've got dial-up internet and I'm not afraid to use it! And if that doesn't work, I can always take my chances that the robots will accept my cyborg half and take me in as one of their own. No es probable. For the lazier preppers, ride it out at the water park. Cool off with the pools and slides while all the robots rush around you. Ha! Huh. Go ahead and try to break my chlorine shield. I dare ya. And ineffective! The only true way to stop robots from purging us is to purge them first! Ha! By launching imps high into the atmosphere, we can knock them all out at once! Take this, robot scum! Firing nuclear payload. <laughs> See that, men? The nuclear option is always the best option! We'll be shocked back to the Stone Age, but it'll be well worth it! Foreign retaliatory strikes detected. Uh, uh oh. Unfortunately, this will probably bring radioactive Armageddon upon the planet. Toxic wastelands, destroyed cities, searching for supplies will all become the norm. To bear these harsh conditions, take the leftover robot parts and radioactive materials and construct new robots for scavenging and protection. <laughs> and there we go! Sistema de nueve in linea. Donde estoy? Donde esta el ejército mecánico superior? Glad to see you back in the land of the living, soldier! Now hop on! We've got Fallout to avoid, Terminators to salvage, and plenty of angry Maxes out there that are bound to be pretty mad! Tu eres el demonio rojo y estas es mi infierno. That's the spirit! Once the bombs stop falling, I'm just gonna take the lazy method again and do nothing. Yeah, saw that coming. Nothing but soak up as much radiation as possible! That way I can turn into the incredible Griff, or Super Griff, or even... Here lies the incredibly super dead Griff, who died even more hideously mutated than he already was. We're not digging a hole, are we? No. Not a chance. Speaking of, though lethal to humans, a worldwide surplus of radiation will inevitably lead to the rise of gigantic mutant monsters. These towering beasts tend to terrorize the remains of society for reasons not fully understood. However, not all kaiju are bad-natured, some even having hearts of gold. The only way to know what you're dealing with is to directly communicate with them. Hey, up there! You ever wonder why you're here? I'm Simmons! Oh, God! Ha <laughs> ha! Less than five seconds, you suck! Pay up, Lopez. Mierda. Once diplomacy inevitably fails, use the rest of your scavenged radioactive parts to construct giant telepathic linked robots to fight against the beast's mano a mano! Let me present. Sergeant Lock! Oh yeah, back from the dead! Ah, uh, Saguarado e Cargado! Oh my god, a lizard! Oh, who's that good boy? Who's that good lizard? Oh, wow. you are! Befriended oh, in only six seconds! Oh, good lizard! Ah. Come in, that spiny tail! I will avenge you! Ah. Oh! Come I knew building a blue robot was a bad idea! Grill! Who pills? Activate ah, the nuclear option! Uh-uh. Ah. I'm out. Not dealing with this shit. Me boy, ah, uh, it's love, a la humanidad. Ah, this is so expensive. By this point, you probably should have realized that world-ending catastrophes tend to breed other world-ending catastrophes. Nukes! Robots! Radioactive monsters capable of wiping out cities! Congress! Doesn't really matter in the end. There's not much you can do to stop these doomsday scenarios. Once they're set into motion. Our advice for once the end does inevitably come? Just sit back, grab some popcorn, and watch it all unfold. That's right. And if you do manage to make it through the end of the world, take comfort knowing that Red vs. Blue will still be here right alongside you. Forever. For all of time. Wait, 
We're going to be here forever? Oh, God, I didn't prepare for that. Quick, get the nuclear option. I still have to destroy Tokyo. Elfin S. Nonka. Thanks for checking out that episode of RVB. You can find the playlist to watch more below, or you can go to roosterteeth.com to check out the latest RT shows. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell, or leave a comment.